Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. After making a couple of videos sharing my experience being a boat driver, I've had a few people ask me if I could make a video, more or less like a tutorial on how to go about the, you know, boat drivers app. So that's what this video is going to be about. So if you happen to get selected or accepted into the um, boat um, driving services, that's good. Um, congratulations to you. Now, once you have the app launched on your phone, you actually see a couple of things. I actually don't have my phone here, but I would walk you through the process on the phone as well. So the first thing is you get to be able to go online, which allows you to be able to see rights or accept rights. And then you're able to also uh, perform some few settings, change or set your default um, map that you want to use. I think there are two options. There's Google and then there's another one, which I can't remember the name for now. And once you are through the settings and the rest, you are ready to accept um, rights on the Uber and that uh, boat drivers app. So you swipe to turn online and once you turn online, this is where people or passengers are able to um, make requests and then you actually happen to um, be able to see some of those um, requests and then accept them. So once there's a request, you get uh, this beeping or notification sound on your phone, which is a bit irritating, but uh, how do you, what can you do? So it comes like bang, 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 and then you go ahead to accept um, the uh, request, and then you get uh, a route which takes you to the location of the passenger. So if you are using Google Maps as your default uh, map, it is going to use Google Map to do that. If you are using the other alternative to Google Map, it is going to use that um, to get to your destination. So once you get to the, your destination, you have to phone or call the passenger that you actually have arrived and then the passenger has about five minutes of wait time. Now once you get to your destination, you have to swipe that you have actually arrived. So it is going to notify the passenger as well as it is going to start um, the countdown for five minutes. And then once it exceeds the five minutes of wait time, it is actually going to be a paid waiting time. And then the passenger is going to be responsible for um, paying that. Now, when you accept request, it's sometimes best for you to actually call the passenger before you actually move. You know, there are instances where there's um, a bit, um, the G GPS sometimes messes up or the passenger who requested for um, ride probably might have not entered the right location or it didn't pin it to the right location so it's sometimes best to actually call before you go to um, whichever destination the GPS is going to direct you to so once you do that that is going to help now once you've gotten to the destination as I said you actually call the passenger to inform him or her that you've arrived and they have about five minutes of wait time so when they jump aboard and you're about starting a trip it is always best to inform them that about starting the trip sometimes it is best to ask where they are going to now one challenge i've had with the boat drivers app is that it doesn't give you the exact location the person is going to it rather gives you a route to that particular destination as compared to i think uber which allows you to see wherever the passenger is going to so sometimes you might have to ask the passenger where he or she is going to and makes it easier and you also have to ask if they have a, um, a certain route they would want you to use so you could actually use that so once you have that um, done you could ask them or you could inform them you are starting a trip they agree to it you go ahead to start the trip and you head to the destination that is whether they are um, route or using the maps being a google map or the other alternative uh, map so once you get to the destination you go ahead you have to swipe to end the trip now when we are ending the trip it is going to ask you whether yes you're actually ending the trip so you actually have to confirm that you're ending the trip and once you end the trip the um, app is going to generate the bill for the passenger so you always have to show the bill to the passenger so it doesn't look like you're actually fabricating your own um, bill and giving it out to the passenger uh, the passenger so you show it to the passenger this is the amount they pay you the amount then you end the trip and then you hit on done so that you can now accept new requests now there are instances where you would be on a trip about um, negotiating the um, destination of the passenger and you see incoming trip so you can accept or decline the instances where sometimes certain passengers where the destination they enter isn't actually the final destination they are going to 
so you have to ask whether they are going to maybe return or that's where you are going to and rest so that it would help you to be able to decide on accepting um, new requests when you're actually about completing a trip so you don't want to find yourself in a situation whereby um, maybe you've gotten to the destination the map is showing but the passenger wants you to go a bit further and then you've actually accepted a trip it's not really cool you might have to decline and there are instances where when there are incoming trips also you have the chance of declining the trip if before you don't want to or you haven't um you know drop off the passenger in the car so these are some of the tips you have to know whenever you are um, using the, that's the boat drivers up um, to be able to you know accept rights as well as some um, you know um, complete rights so basically that's just about it oh now there's an aspect where in case maybe it's closing time or you want to close or you're headed towards a specific location you are just accepting or you want to accept requests um, uh, of people who are heading towards that same location you can actually um, do that on the app so there's a section where you enter your destination where you are going to and once you swipe online um, it is only going to accept request or maybe show you request of people who are headed the same way so you can actually accept request so i do that a lot maybe if i'm going to a specific place i'm not actually probably doing um, boats but i feel i'm just going to go empty how about just um, set the location and then have people join me that is um get passengers and then make something small from it which is actually going to cater for four so that is basically just about the um boat drivers app um you see some of these tutorials on your screen of me going about it on the phone also on the app there's the home section there's the news part right as well as settings so the home section is where you get to swipe to actually state if you are online or not and then you have um, an overview about your activity so you see uh, sometimes boat offers some bonus that is if you're able to meet a certain um, you know um, number of rides as well as you're able to stay online for a certain duration so that's what a CSO as an I say is between 10 a.m. to 11 uh, 59 p.m. if I'm able to be online for that and then accept about 16 rides then I'm going to enjoy this um, 40 cities bonus so that is about that and then you can actually see all campaigns in case there, there's more campaigns that both is offering so um, if you want to see previous campaigns you come to past month you have active month as well as you also have next so let me just come back here now at the very bottom you see um, today's ending so if I let's say today I have actually done both I'll see the total amount of money I have earned over here that is with the discount amount inclusive so that is going to show here and I also see activity score so the activity score has to do with the number of rides that you accept so if there's an incoming ride and you don't accept it or you decline it it affects your activity score and then finally you have the current rating here which after every ride people are going to rate you for your service so you can actually tap on this the earnings part to see have an overview about um, the total amount of earnings so let's say this is the earnings for this particular um, week once you tap on this it is going to give you the breakdown so you have 15 cities um, which is going to be says in-app payment so that is actually um, says in-app payment and compensation for campaign discount so that is what boat is going to be responsible for paying you back and then you have 67 cities that is actually the amount of money you made um, that is in cash and then um, you when you come to balance so the balance is where you get to see um, how much you made um, what you made from the um, in-app payment boat commission that is what you are supposed to pay both and then current balance so if your balance is um, it's um, an amount that you have to pay both you see an option here that allows you to be able to tap on it to actually pay so in this case both owes me two cities and then you're also able to see your net income on the app so you can see for previous um, um, dates and then you can see for the current data so then you can also see also see for the past three months the amount of money that has been made um driving boat so um this is with the earnings part let me just come back from here and then when you come to activity score also you get to see how you performed in terms of the number of requests you accepted and declined or at all over here so um 100 is the total number of requests and then five over six is out of six requests that i requested um accepted five and then you also see the hours that you stayed online here 
and then you can come to cancel also to see the number of requests that you did either didn't accept or you canceled and then once you swipe you see some tips or information over here as well now when you come to the news part this is where you get to see any information about upcoming events or um, any news that both actually has you get to see that here so once you tap on that you see all this information over here and um, when you look at the very bottom we have support so if you have any issues or you have concerns and the rest this is where you can learn more about all those um, information and then once you come to rights this has to do with the number of rights that you have um, actually accepted so in my case these are the rights i probably um, accepted on this particular date so you see once you tap on it you see more details about the right the kilometers that you or the distance you covered um, as well as the time the ride started as well as the time you ended and then the total amount of money that was um, involved and when you look at the very bottom you have some information also so in case there's any of these options over here that you felt maybe a passenger lost an item and so on you can go ahead and then um, state all those information over here that helps with improvement of the app and then finally once you come to settings this is where you see the details about your account and in case you want to make changes you can actually go ahead and make changes now with the map option you have between google maps as well as way so whatever you want to use you set that as your default map and you also have navigation that is auto start so this is whenever you accept a request it is automatically going to launch the map and then show you a route to the destination and of course you can enable dark mode on the app now over here you can also refer other people once they join the app or that um both drivers app successfully and yeah you're, you're able to earn some sort of um you know amount from that and then this is where you have documents this is where you actually upload your information so this is going to open a browser your account you have to log in and then you enter all your information and then you have this quick access icon this allows you to have an icon of the boat um, drivers app showing on your screen whenever even when you've closed the app so it's easier for you to have access to it quickly and then you have the driver portal which is also going to um, open your account for you to be able to log into it and um so want to request a ride get a client app so that is if you want to use the um, client app that's in case you want to also um use both to for your you know rounds and the rest you can also do that over here so this is um the app an overview about the app and this is where you swipe to go online that is if you want to go online and you have the plus icon over here where you can hit on that to be able to specify your destination that is if you're heading to us a specific place and then also end the day you have two um you know destinations so once you exhaust the uh, two destinations you cannot you can't actually set any more for the day so that is just the end of this video in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so my name is Ishmael Amte. thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one